Hi, Mom. Hi, YouTube. Happy Mother's Day. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel McKinnon, making gender make sense. I have a special Mother's Day video for everybody. First, Mom. When I wanted to think about what I could do to celebrate you today, I thought making a video talking about what it's like as a trans person to have a supportive mother and what that means would be the best way that I could do that. So here's that video. Mom, I love you. You've always been there for me. I know it hasn't always been easy, but I've certainly appreciated that you've been there for me through the transition, through the struggles, through the good times too. I know to some extent you always wanted a girl and here I am and I feel that we are so much closer now than we ever were before. And I can't wait to see you this summer. I want to share a little message with other mothers out there who have trans kids. I know it can be scary at first. I know you want what's best for your child. I know you just want them to be happy and healthy. And one of the best predictors about a trans person's happiness and well-being is family and social support. So I want to give you some hope that supporting a trans child is one of the most effective things you can do to help their well-being and promote their happiness. But it's also important to recognize that when you're first confronted with a child's transition, you might feel like you're losing the child that you thought you had and you're in a sense mourning the future person, the hopes and dreams you had for them and what you expected your life to look like with them in the future. But when they transition, that's all gone and sometimes it feels like a death. And it's important for us to recognize that that's okay. That's a natural thing to feel. Mourn the person that in a sense you're losing, but please do it quickly because you're gaining someone who will be with you for the rest of your life. They will be happiest now as this new person. So instead of thinking about the person that you maybe lost, embrace and celebrate this child that you've gained. Accept your child, love your child. It means more to us than you know. A word to the kids, the trans kids, whose parents maybe don't support them as much as we would hope. Unfortunately, this is too common. I want to give you some hope though. I want you to know that it's okay to walk away from unsupportive or disrespectful or even abusive parents. And I want to give you hope that you can find what we call your glitter family, your queer family. We are out there and the relationships that we make in our glitter families are just as real, just as meaningful as our blood families. Also, you can reach out to me. You can email me. You can call me. We can Skype. I'm happy to talk if you need someone to talk to. If things are really bad, I want you to know that you can call Trans Lifeline and there will be someone there to listen and to help. Okay, let's do something a little bit more trans studies-y. Let's talk about Mother's Day and is it okay for trans women to be a mommy? Is it okay for trans women 
to take on the mantle of motherhood. I've talked to a lot of trans women who have children before they transitioned. I don't have kids, full disclaimer. There's a very common concern that for a trans woman to go from being dad, daddy, or the father to taking on mom, mommy, or mother is somehow taking away from their wife or partner or their children's mother, or that it's somehow usurping something that belongs to the original mother. That's the sort of language I see pretty commonly, the taking away from, or even the language of usurping. And I wanna suggest that this thought that mother and therefore Mother's Day belongs to the cis mother in the partnership is both cis sexist and heteronormative. Heteronormative is the idea that we expect partners and parents to be one man, one woman, right? Heterosexual relationships. So there should be a mother and a father. So the idea that if you already have one mother and that the original father transitions to a woman and then wants to be called mother as well, that, well, you can't have two mothers. So to add the second mother is to take away from something that was unique to the original mother. But that's heteronormative. What about lesbian parents? They're both women. They're both moms. So the idea that there could only be one mother, it's like a Highlander thing or something, there can be only one, or that you're usurping and stripping away what was special seems to suggest that there should only be one mother, but that erases lesbian mothers. So it's heteronormative. But it's also cis-sexist to say that a trans woman can't be a mother seems to suggest she's not really a woman. And the language that we usually talk to or use for a woman parent is mother. So to deny that to trans women is to suggest that cis women own motherhood. And that's a problem. So what are some of the other problems we might have with how we talk about motherhood? And I want to thank my friend Alice, who is a lesbian mother for uh, conversations on these sorts of issues. So one thing we don't wanna do is ask, if you have two mothers, well, who's the real mom? Or who's the biological mother? Because we don't wanna privilege one type of mother over another. The idea that only the gestational or birth mother is the real mother is a problem. But it's not just a problem for trans women or lesbian mothers who maybe didn't birth the child that they're a mother to, but it also seems to separate adoptive parents and adoptive mothers. And adoptive mothers are just as real in their kinship relationship to the child to whom they're a mother. So we need to be careful about our language of motherhood. So suppose that you're okay with a trans woman referring to herself as a mother, and now the child or the children have two mommies. Great. How should we do that? How do you have two people celebrate Mother's Day? Well, that's up to y'all. You could both celebrate on Sunday, or, and this is what a friend of mine does, one of the mothers is celebrated on the Saturday, the other mother is celebrated on the Sunday, and every year they swap who gets Sunday. That way, both mothers have a day to be celebrated on their own. Uh, in their case, each mom gets a chance to have breakfast in bed because uh, the children are too young to make breakfast for them. So one of the moms has to help make breakfast for the other moms for Mother's Day. And Every year they swap who gets Sunday. So that way both moms get equal treatment. They both get to celebrate Mother's Day. They both get to feel special. 
but however you do it, up to you. Another issue is sometimes trans women don't feel comfortable being called mommy, mom, mother, whatever. What are some other language options that we might look to? One really common one is for the trans mom to be referred to as Maddie or Mada. So a combination between mommy and daddy, so Maddie. Another one I've heard is Dee Dee. I've also seen Dommy, although uh, for the BDSM people, that might have a completely different meaning. And one nice one is to encourage the children to organically produce their own uh, affectionate nickname for the trans mother. So I know in one case, um, the nickname is Wizzy. So whatever works, be open to possibilities. Also, I know that trans women early in their transition are often uncomfortable uh, being referred to mommy right away, but that might change over time. So be open to your preferences shifting. Also, it's important that they are your preferences and people respect your preferences. I know that we have a tendency to worry about the children, but I think if we communicate to the children that this is important to you and that it makes you feel bad if they call you daddy, if you would prefer mommy, that they will come around to it, they will respect it. So, happy Mother's Day. If you want to, as a trans woman, take on the mantle of the term mother, awesome. I think you have permission to do that. If you're not comfortable, if you don't want to, that's fine too. But have a great Sunday. Hi everyone. I'm so glad I got to share this Mother's Day gift to my mom, but also to the rest of you. Maybe you could share your story down in the comments below. I would really love to hear from you. Please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. See you later.